What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade and today we're talking nothing but GoPro, GoPro and GoPro. I'm really, really excited about the new GoPro Hero 7, specifically the Black Edition because I am guaranteeing you I, I will be getting that camera. I'm so excited about it. And um, there's one specific reason that I am definitely gonna buy this camera and I would recommend it to a lot of people that are into or even getting into um, creating content and things like that because it take it knocks out of the park one major thing that we all are doing and we all have in common on these different social media platforms. There are three different types of GoPros that they are releasing. One, the high-end one, is the GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition and that's gonna retail for $399. The second one is the GoPro 7 Silver Edition, and that's gonna retail for $299. And the other one is the GoPro Hero 7 White, and that's gonna retail for $199. Guys, it's gonna replace our old GoPro Hero 6 Black Editions. And guess what? You can actually tell the difference between the GoPro 7 and the GoPro 6 as opposed to the GoPro 6 and the GoPro 5, which look exactly, exactly like, minus the little small Hero 6 and Hero 5 on the side of them. So it's about time they started doing something to differentiate the cameras. The GoPro Hero 7 is actually going to be black. The 7, 7 Black Edition is actually going to be uh, black, and it's going to have, it looks like it's going to have a 7 on the side of it. Big, big determining factors to show off your new GoPro. Let everybody know, look, I have new GoPro Hero 7 black, guys. It's black, silver, and the white is obviously gonna be white, and the silver is gonna be, I guess, like a grayish type of material. But all three cameras, guys, let, let's, matter of fact, forget about the other, the other two. We're gonna talk about the black for a second in comparison to, actually, we're gonna compare compared to all the three the three models. Okay, so the GoPro Hero 7 Black shoots, uh, takes still pictures at 12 megapixels. The uh, silver and the white takes still images at 10 megapixels, so you get two more megapixels for your buck. The GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition is gonna shoot 1080p at 240 frames per second, and which is, it, Let's stop there. That's already great, great um, amount of frames that you can slow down in post-production. It's also going to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, which is awesome. Um, going to give you great, great quality uh, video if you decide to bump it down to ten, uh, 1080p in post-production. Now, the Hero 7 Silver is going to shoot 4K at 30 frames per second, which is also great too. You can bump that down to 1080p. You have great footage. But the Hero Hero uh, 7 White Edition is only going to shoot 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is you know we're, we're used to that stuff. It's 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 usable. Still three great cameras, brand new. All three cameras. Let's talk about what all three cameras have. All three cameras have voice control. All three cameras are going to have uh, touch screen, which is great. And all three cameras are waterproof up to 33 feet. Or 10 meters if you read your feet by meters <laughs> the hero 7 black edition has the ability to shoot in HDR which I'm not sure what the difference is between HDR and WDR uh, I thought that it sounds like the same thing but I don't know maybe it's that much better but I'm hoping it is because they named it HDR but I thought WDR was HDR you guys can put the difference between the two down below in the comment section. Please help me out and um, I'm really excited about the hyper smoothness that they announced so The uh, hero 6 black already had image stabilization in it, and I thought they did a pretty good job But this hero 7 black is going to have hyper smoothness It's gonna be hyper smooth It's gonna be the equivalent of having a gimbal guys. I'm really really anxious to test this out and see if it lives up to what they're making it out to be. They're making it out to be this great, great way as you can do anything and have your image stabilized. The Hero 7 Black Edition is going to have eight times slow motion. That's slow. While the Hero 7 Silver and White only has 
two times slow motion. So, you know, either way, great quality slow motions for the two less expensive cameras, but I can't wait to test out that eight times slow motion with water and things of that nature and running along with the hyper smoothness effect. I can't wait. Now, 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 now. The main, main, main reason why I am definitely gonna buy this camera, why I'm so excited about buying this camera is because of the ability, guys, the ability to live stream to Facebook. A moment of silence. That's genius. Now, I would hope that if you can live stream to Facebook, you would be able to live stream to YouTube, but maybe that's too much to ask for. I don't know. They should have maybe advertised that with it if they were going to let it happen, but maybe Facebook and GoPro have some type of deal going on. I don't know, but voice control, touch screen, and waterproofness, which this already had, are the three uh, features that all of them are going to have. I can't wait for the live stream. I can't wait for the hyper smoothness to test that out. And I can't wait for the HDR to see whatever the heck that is. Guys, please explain to me what that is. And the ability to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. The ability to shoot H 1080p at 240 frames per second. This is going to be a great action camera. The one thing that I hope that they have that I'm not sure yet is, is it going to be like a straight linear shot or is it still going to have the GoPro fish eye-ness? I can't, I'm anxious to see if it has a straight linear thing, this is going to take GoPro to the next level and everybody should just go out and buy one. But as soon as I get mine, guys, expect a review or a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison with the GoPro Hero 6 Black and the GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition, because you know I get it down with the side-by-side -side footages. Check out my side-by-side -side comparison of the GoPro Hero 6 and the GoPro Hero 5 right here. The GoPro Hero, yeah, I, I compared those cameras and it was a pretty cool um, comparison. But uh, this one is going to be epic because this is special to me because this this camera is going to be near and dear to my heart i think because it has a live stream capabilities for shooting for shooting on facebook uploading streaming to facebook rather so guys um thank you for joining me gopro talk exciting about it tell me excited about it tell me if you're excited tell me if you're definitely going to get it and tell me what feature what features you are going you think you're going to use the most and what features you think you're going to love the most and why you're going to get this camera down in the comment section down below guys i hope you're excited as i am it's your boy alan wade man gopro hero 7 i can't wait it's your boy i'm out peace Turn up the Crank it up Why listen to the rest When you're rockin' with the best, baby?